Hey guys. Hey guys. We're the Dorkeries. We're the Dorkeries. It has been a full week of park hopping um, and shopping for houses. I guess that's been two weeks shopping for houses and park hopping. And today we're having a little bit of downtime to do some very much needed furniture shopping, would you say? Yeah, because we close in a week. We close. Less than a week. A week from yesterday, we closed on our house and we sold or gave away most of our furniture before we moved here. So we have two beds. I think that's it. <laughs> I think <No>. that's it. <laughs> I think we kept two beds. Furniture wise? Yeah. A lot of outdoor furniture. Yeah, we, that's it though. <laughs> I don't think we kept anything for the inside of the house except for two beds. There's something in those units. Oh, my, my Target chair. I love that Target chair. Okay. Well, we need furniture. Um, and so we've actually been really excited about getting here to Orlando and shopping for furniture because there are so many options that are like dream places to shop for furniture. There are Restoration Hardware, um, West, West Elm. Elm. I know I just used improper grammar, so hang with me. Uh, there is a Restoration Hardware uh, outlet in just like a short drive away. Um, there's Pottery Barn. Um, there's every everything that you would want to look at for shopping furniture. Today, our strategy for me is twofold. Um, I need a little bit of downtime, a little bit of rest, so I kind of want to like meander um, and not be like fully committed to choosing things. That's my first strategy. My second strategy is that before I go to West Elm, Pottery Barn, Crate and Barrel. Ooh, the container store. Restoration hardware. Before I go to like the high end, high end, I want to see what's available at the budget friendly Ikea. So in Knoxville, uh, the closest Ikea is a three hour drive. It's Atlanta. Um, and then the next furthest is a six hour drive to Memphis. So it's really nice to be in Orlando and have an Ikea close by um, that we can just go see what is available there. And that way when we pop over to some of the more luxury and high-end furniture options, we'll know like comparables and dupes. Like sometimes you wanna know like, I love that $2,000 cabinet, but you know what, the Ikea one kinda looks the same and nobody would know and it's only a couple hundred. That's my strategy. I'm gonna see what's available first, budget friendly. And then I'm gonna go scope out some of the like dream furniture options. You said meander. Meander. Yeah, meander. <laughs> I like that word. What's meander. wrong with that word? No, it's just the go word of the go day. Go meander. Let's, let's around go meander. some of the furniture stores. May I help you? Is there something I can help you? I'm oh, just, no, we're meandering. just meandering. <laughs> now I want to look up the exact definition for. Meander. I hate that. I'm just looking. I'm just, I'm just meandering. I'm just meandering. I dare you. I dare you <laughs> to use that three times today. At least three times you have to answer. We're okay. just meandering. We're just meandering. Okay. They'll be like, you guys are definitely from the <laughs> south. And then tell them, I'm just going to go over yonder, which I have never used. I don't think. What are you in sell around here? <laughs> what? What are you in? What are you in sell? What are you in sell? <laughs> what are you in sell in Orlando? I guarantee somebody would go, excuse me? Hey y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey y'all, we're just meandering. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go look over yonder. I'm gonna go look see right what over UNs there. have in stock. <laughs> oh goodness. It's gonna be fun. Hey, it's 87 degrees outside. It's wonderful. I am still, I have not bought any clothes this week other than what you guys have seen me buy at Lululemon. That has been my only clothing purchase, so I'm still just kind of piecing together things. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but curly hair and bangs don't love the humidity, but that's okay. I need to step up my hat game as we're shopping for things. I need more hats. I love this one, clearly. I've worn it for years. But I think we're gonna have to uh, start a hat collection for I me. I think that was, I think you wore that hat in one of our like first CGC videos. Yeah, I've had this hat for a long time. And I mean, how could you not love it? Love conquers all. It's a good hat. 
It goes with everything. It's got a good oh. message on it. Sometimes we needed to remind ourselves. <laughs> Love conquers all. Um, but I, I might have to step up my hat game at least until my bangs grow out. So we'll see what we can find there as well. You didn't need all that information. of meander. It means to follow a winding river. <laughs> to, and horse. to wander aimlessly. Which we're not aimless or without purpose. Our purpose though is to just have a restful looking process. Yeah, there's Volcano Bay coming up. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's funny because the, the exit we're taking is the exit after Universal Studios. Sometimes your body wants to automatically go just get towards just get off, just get off. Just get to Universal Studios. Just, no, I need, I need a little bit of rest Theme today. Rest. That's fair. We have had two midnight park nights back to back. It has been incredible. I know um, between the between the two midnight, like close down the park nights. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I think we might have been on Buzz Lightyear twenty times. Oh, easily. Because at park close, if you get on about thirty minutes before park close, they will just let you ride it without even getting off. When you go to the part where they raise the bar, you say. We want to stay on and they let you stay on and you can do that until the park is closed and we did that two nights in a row <laughs> and it was so much fun it was so much fun in three quarters of a mile turn right into the car park to the mall. A little bit jealous of their pods, huh? <laughs> Not jealous, just kidding. Man, I hope I never get tired of these blue skies. And palm, and palm trees. Would you look at that palm tree? Look at that palm tree. Just scoping out the entrance. I do love that IKEA always shows you like how everything could look in your space. Yeah. I think that is second to the price. That's a big appeal. These are really cute. I like those. Are they're salt and pepper shakers or not shakers but grinds i really like those because crate and barrel has some kind of like this same size and color 
and theirs are a hundred dollars. And I just don't want to spend a hundred dollars for salt and pepper shakers. No, they're pretty good too. Yeah, I might have to get those. So this is really cute. They have little bags of mint and lavender that you can put in your closet. They will hang on your hangers. Cool. But here's what made me laugh. Have you ever seen anybody say, actually... It's not a dollar ninety nine. Actually, we're raising yeah. the price. Yeah, we call that inflation. <laughs> but this one, though, this one's different. They marked this one down. But not here. Not here. We're going with four ninety nine for the mint. Yeah, we're going to actually kind of like this from the standard for our Lego orders? Yeah. That's actually really nice. So That's a good workbench. Workbench 259. I'm making a note for myself because we need one of these. I would say I'd, I'd like to get two. If we did this, I want two of them. Okay. Um, because sometimes our orders get large, but I do like the... I like the lamp, too. The lamp, like that. Because you put the little magnifying glass on the parts. Yeah, that's nice. And it seems like the way that could work is that even if you didn't have this, you could clip the lamp to the workbench yeah. and be able to see numbers on Lego pieces. Now we've already got these in storage. But I don't know that I want the ones we have in our garage. So I like those better. So that one's 170. And then you think the little acromels can just... We'll have to measure, but that's not a bad option for stacking the acromels. This is a good storage system. And then here's what I like. Now, okay, so this is 359, I guess because it's metal, but you can get the little fake particle board ones at Target for less than $200. And I, I like well, those. We're not doing pass holder magnets. Nice. I really like this. 289, look at this. I like that too. Checking out some of the closet areas. Closets, 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 closets. closets, closets, closets. closets. These are like heavy duty metal, like some of the ones I've looked at from Anthropology, and they're twelve ninety nine each. But check out this arch mirror. Look, it's us. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Check out this arch mirror <laughs> and some other things. Um, One ninety nine. Are you okay, bub? I'm. Um, um, need a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Did not even know this existed, but that's going home with us. Okay, well, let's do it. So, can we get some of the boxes? Can we get a couple of those? Look at this. Please, for storage in our shop. You like those? Yeah, because they're white. You said two? Yeah, get a couple of those. Also, I don't need these, but these are nice baskets for 30 bucks. Whether you use them for blankets, laundry, pillows, toy boxes, it's pretty cool. I'm digging this. This is awesome. Well, I mean, got to build your own furniture. Why wouldn't they have Lego? It looks like, do they also have oil and vinegar pourers that go with oh, the cool. salt and pepper? Found out that we need vinegar at least once every other month. Oh yeah, we did. Clean our. Oh, this is nice. What is it? It's a spice oh, grinder, a mortar and pestle grinder. Uh, guacamole. Let's do that. I love the color of it too. It's just not out on the, not on the counter. I don't know. I like it. I like it like that with the little plants behind oh, it. Oh, I'm impressed. It's nice. I like these. I like the color of these. They have some texture to them. I don't know, I will say too, like it is stiff, but at the same time, it's not uncomfortable. 
I'm gonna check you out. So, one of the things that we always say is that Drew has the magic picker for couches. He always can tell which couch is gonna feel the best in the long run. And he has never steered us wrong. But that one's a little stiff and it's honestly a little messy for my taste. It's cute. All right, I gotta look here, but right off the bat, I don't really see any of these couches that, granted I know people sit on these all day long, but they just kind of look worn already. I am trying to decide on cabinets. You know, the big arch cabinets are in right now. And I want one for my bathroom. I have a corner area where it'd be nice to add some pretty storage and not just have under sink storage. This is a really good low price option. So I'm taking note of it because I could put towels, plants, anything pretty on the top and then hide any toiletries in the bottom. So I'm putting that on my watch list. Drew? Yeah. You want some Swedish meatballs? <laughs> I've had my feel for the week. Of meatballs? Yeah. I guess they were more Norwish, more Isaac. In Norway and are all you can eat. Little Easter section. <laughs> The only thing we bought today at Ikea was Lego, but West Elm is in the Eventually same the parking lot. We are going to pop over here, see what they got. What do you think, Drew? This chair? Yeah. You don't? It's too stiff? Yeah. We're looking for furniture that we can play Mario Kart in, and we think we found one. It's just currently backward. Hey, Drew, let's try this sofa over here. Come test it out for me. It just needs to be fluffed. Me? Mm, I had a feeling. Mm -mm. Is this your couch? Door three. It's not really like a take a nap couch, but that's okay. We're not really take a nap on a, especially not on a couch, but it is, it's a good play a video game. I like it. I love that chair. Drew, that chair. Oh my goodness. We're at Pottery Barn now at the Mall of Millennia. Oh my goodness, can I sit in it? Absolutely. So we're at the container store and we're obviously here for Lego organization. I've only been in the container store in Atlanta and I remember how much I loved it and that's been years and years ago. So I'm pretty excited about being here. I, I feel like, like you've talked about I, getting to go to Costco and getting to go oh, the, to the container store more I than forgot about Costco. any other spot in Orlando. <laughs> I forgot about Costco. Drew, that is not what I had in mind. This is not the Lego this storage I'm right. looking for. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Holy crap. So I get these in collections all the time. And people are like, do they just throw them in? Look at that price. It's $50. It's because they're sick of looking at them. <laughs> they're like, they belong to their like kids. 12 of these. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But hey. I've it already does. moved on to clearance stuff. The <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> but we've got some of these. I don't know what I'm ever going to use them for. We're going to put them on my shelf because they're cute. But the, this is pretty cool. It's for minifigures. Yeah. I think we've got a couple of these too. This is a little bit more like it where you get to pull out drawer. That's still not what we're looking for. No, no. I mean, this is not our dino. This is this is kids' storage. It is. We're we're looking for. We want something. Operational efficiency. Efficiency, but we also want 
the, our workspace to feel nice. Yeah. We want to, we don't want our workspace to feel overwhelming color wise. We don't want to feel like the walls are closing in on us because we have boxes and boxes of Lego everywhere. But I think I found a solution. Okay. Wait, rifle paper company. Um, it was over here, Drew. Right here. Okay. So these kind of look like the acromills that you said you like. Oh yeah. But they're white. So to me, when you do the acromills, they the outside is black, and I just feel like that would be a lot of black in one space. It's pretty smooth. And the white might be a little more restful, and the price is comparable. I just want to get one of the bigger drawers out. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that would work. I'm gonna put that on our comeback for list. And then they stack. And they're mounted. We were not mounting them, but I mean the options there. So this one's big, big drawers, and that one has a mix of drawers. I looked at uh, these a second ago. Cool. And they even have more up stock, up stock. Cool beans. Love it. Let's come back for these. Love it. We're about to go into our final store of the day. I'm gonna hop into Home Goods, maybe Marshalls, who knows? But um, Drew's gonna leave me and go to the comic book store that's yeah. right next door. Um, but got a, some, got some good ideas today. I found a bed for the guest room, a couch for the game room. We found stuff for our store. The, um, the chair. We found a chair at Pottery Barn. Um, and we found, we went to this Target over here to see what they had. We found some Ottomans that we we're going to get. So I feel like we're on a roll. Like we got a good start today, right? Yes. I think we uh, exceeded expectations with yeah. our meandering. We did. And we actually, we d have not met three times, but one time we told someone so we were said, just meandering. Well, you started just browsing and I go, oh. We and are I said, just meandering. And he giggled. Meandering. He giggled at us <laughs> as we giggled at ourselves. We're just, we all giggled together. That's what happened. So, all right, final stop. All right, let's go. I feel like this chair is pretty much on trend at a lot of the stores, but I feel like $3.99, I can get that same chair on Wayfair or Target for half that price. So I saw a few things that were comparable to things that I saw at West Elm and Pottery Barn today. Okay. One of them is this. Okay. And it's 150 here, and it has drawers. Well, well, I feel like okay. The last one I opened opened that one's stuck, but I feel like it's like a bench, maybe at the foot of the bed. Do you have a bench? Michael Scott. What? Michael Scott. Michael Scott. So this is a good price on this mirror, this floor mirror. I'm gonna try to back all the way up. Okay, so they are charging $250 for it. And that mirror for um, at Urban Outfitters is $500 and it looks just like this. I do like this and I think this is a really good price for this, $250. Okay. It'd be a really nice vanity. I just right at the second, don't know where I would put it. Also, is there anything that you're gonna do like in the hall? Is there like a thing in the hallway? I don't know. I, want, I need like to get there. I need to get there and like feel it out how much space there is. But this will be a great vanity. This um, texture of wood is really in right now. And I really love all the coloring on this marble top. So, I don't know. I'll keep it in mind. Thank you for meandering with me today. Yes. We had purpose. We were successful. Yeah. So, I don't know if we quite met the definition of meandering yeah. but it, it was, was restful, re restful relaxing it didn't feel pressure yeah. it was a nice day off um the we had one we had one place where we were like let's pull the trigger on this today and order it and they were like it's back stock so they we couldn't even order it and they just told us to check back in a couple we're days get, we're gonna get it so we're still gonna get it but we were like we want to pay you and they were like nah <laughs> no nah. so, Whatever. They're like, nah, go meander some more. They're like, nah. So, all right, West Elm, we'll be back at you. <laughs> but I've enjoyed this restful day. Yeah, there's and a lot of good places around here. It, there are a lot of good places. And it, it actually, you know, left a lot of stuff behind. But it's nice to have, like, a refresh to kind of start with a new vision. Um, 
and just keep on walking the dream path, right? Absolutely. And in the meantime, go torque yourself! Pew, pew.